Hello and welcome to another chaotic start of the vlog. We have the fridge. It's finally arrived. And we nearly killed ourselves getting this thing in because the assholes that delivered it, like, refused to bring it into the house. They just dropped it off, like, on the threshold. And, oh my god, we have steps to get inside the house. And... We literally had to ask our neighbor to come help us because Michael and I couldn't do it. And even with the three of us, Michael nearly got crushed. But I, <laughs> I'm so relieved that we got it in, but we're gonna start prepping the uh, installation process because we're gonna do that ourselves. But hopefully the hard part is um, <laughs> over. Is 37 too cold for the Katrina, it just turned on. Uh, I, I don't know. 37 is too warm for the fridge. For the fridge? Oh, I thought, really? I mean, it should, it, that's not the temperature it should be, okay? okay? But it just turned on. So it hasn't had time to actually cool down yet. Well, I'm not going to leave it plugged in. Look at these instructions. Like, this is made. Like, it has literally smiley faces and frowny faces. Like, they make this literally idiot proof. It's so you don't, it's so they don't have to print multiple languages. Oh, really? Yeah. That's smart. It has a Sabbath mode. Look, it has a little bear. What does the bear mean? Like an alarm? Yeah, it's supposed to represent a person. Oh. Look at that. It's a cute little bear. Good morning, friends. It's the next day. Um, it's 7.30 in the morning. I'm taking a quick break to make myself some breakfast. I've already been on a few calls this morning. And I rolled out of bed and got on the call today. I only had like a cup of hot water with lemon and honey. But look, the fridge is installed. It was such a process to get this done last night. We were so exhausted. We didn't watch anything last night. We like, we were doing this until probably like 10 30 in the evening and then we we just like walked upstairs and passed out but um we are going to transfer all the groceries from the garage into here um at some point today i'm not going to do it during work because i just have a lot to do um but we're really excited let me show you how excited i am about this fridge so we got a Bosch uh, French door refrigerator. Not that anyone cares, but I'm going to tell you anyway that this, we did a lot of research and this one had the best reviews and needing like the least amount of like work done later or problems with it down the road. And we really liked the clean look of it and that it didn't have a water dispenser at the front because I hate the way the look of those. I think they just remind me of like the early 2000s. Um, so we got the French door because that's what I also wanted. I didn't want to call them refrigerator. And ta-da! We have pretty much nothing in it at, at the moment. But you have like a flex bar here at the top that you can move around and rearrange these. You can put the shelves up at the top and the flex bar at the bottom, however you want to do it. All the shelves are removable. Um, so you can tailor the height. 
got a little wine rack and then these are huge um shelves on the doors they could probably fit like a gallon or like two gallons of milk here if you want to do that um so these are all huge and then you have your little deli drawer which i'm going to fill up and then my favorite part about this is the two crispers and um, I was very particular about finding the best fridge with the best crispers. And this one by far had the best technology. And we have one set to fruit and one to vegetables. And they have like really, really good humidity control and air freshener systems. And it also came with this little um, ethylene absorber. So we're going to put that in. So from the reviews, these two crisper drawers keep fruit fresh really, really well in comparison to a lot of other fridges. Um, it was the most comparable to a sub-zero within our budget um, because we can't afford a sub-zero fridge, but maybe one day. And then here at the bottom, we have a ice tray with a little scoop, which removes. You have storage here, storage in the bottom here, and then you also have this little drawer of storage here. So it's a fairly small freezer in terms of like other fridges, but we also have the freezer in the garage, so we weren't too concerned about it. I was more concerned about how it looked and how good of a quality the freezer is, which again, dual compressor freezer, so most comparable to a Sub-Zero and all of that jazz. So that's what we got, but I can't wait to fill it up with groceries. Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. I'm back on my shit with my homemade essentially vanilla cream cold cold brew with the uh, Chobani creamer. What's new? But we, I've got my painting shirt on, but we're about to start on our next home improvement venture, which Michael's already started on and my part's coming up soon. So let me show you. All right, so here's the dining room before. We've got kind of the gray that's all over the house. We've got this farmer farmhouse style pendant, which is going to go away. Um, that matches the one that is outside, which I think is so hilarious that they put the same one. I love it outside. Don't get me wrong. It matches kind of the vibe of the house. Hate it on the inside. Then we've got this like poopy brown ceiling going on and the gray. And then we've got this weird ass crown molding that matches what we had in our bedroom at that weird height. So Michael's been scoring um, the uh, caulk on the molding and then using a crown, what is that? Crown removal tool? It's a removal. Trim removal tool. Crown molding. That's crown molding. Yeah, so that's crown molding. This is just trim. So we're ripping that trim off. And then I'm going to do the same thing where I go through and remove all of these caulking edges um, once we rip everything off. And I'm going to help him rip everything off here in a second. And we are going to spackle everything, which again, I do spackle, sand, remove the caulk. And then we're going to do matching trim. I know, I know what you're thinking. We're ripping off trim to put more trim up, but I'm going to do it the right way. So we're going to do these matching kind of boxes up at the top. So we'll have one, two, three on this wall, one, two, three, and then go around the room. And then we're going to paint this room like a dark steely blue. So it's like a nice statement color. Cause I think that will be fun. And that is it. And that's the plan for today. We also have to go back to Home Depot and pick up Michael's Husky toolbox that he got for Christmas. That's a great view of Michael's ass. Let me <laughs> change the viewpoint. And um, we're gonna maybe look at some trim to like match that best we can. And then stop by Safeway to get some groceries. And then tomorrow we're waking up at the crack of dawn to go uh, skiing. And my back hurts a little bit, so I hope that goes away today. I don't want to make it worse tomorrow. And we're going to Stevens Pass, so that will be fun. Um, I was going to say something else, and I don't remember what it was. I couldn't tell you. It'll come to me later. Okay, so all the trim is gone, so I'm starting to do my job, which is the scraping. 
And I'm gonna show you a quick little tip that I figured out once I scraped my whole bedroom because I was doing it wrong. Well, not wrong, but there's an easier way to do it. Let me show you. Okay, so you'll need one of these little scraper tools. This is from Anvil. Um, and make sure you have a sharp blade. You don't wanna be doing this with a dull blade because it'll make your life that much harder. So what you wanna do is when you're scraping this caulk off, don't go like this. Go at kind of like an angle like this and it will lift off so much easier. If you get dry patches like this of the drywall coming off, don't worry about it because you want it to be flat more than you care about ripping off some of the drywall. And then once you're done, then go over it like this sideways and see how nothing is coming up. That means it's an even surface. And if something does come up, like right there, see I missed a little bit, you'll be able to get it super smooth. And then you wanna do that for the top and the bottom. And then I always go over it one more time just to make sure it's smooth. And then when you spackle it, I always have this on hand in case I notice like a little rough spot because any kind of texture, you have like a ridge. If you try to spackle over it, it'll create an uneven texture when you paint over it. And that will be more visible than patching up a spot like this. <laughs> Still have to sleep. We are almost to Stevens Pass. It is Sunday. We got up at the crack of dawn. We got up at like 5 a.m. to go meet Dylan. Hi, everyone. Say hi to Dylan. Um, and we picked Dylan up in Seattle, and then um, Dylan's driving us to Stevens Pass because he's more, more familiar with how to get here. But it is so pretty. And we had to get up at the crack of dawn because, according to Dylan, we have to make sure that there's enough places for our parking. So. We're almost there. It's gonna be my first time skiing, so hopefully I don't eat snow like I ate river when I was wakeboarding for the first time, because that was a traumatic experience. I broke a nail. I know. We yeah. out. What? I warned you about that. I, listen, those nails were hard as rocks. It was just a very violent time on the river. So I didn't enjoy that, but. Dude, like it's raining right now. Is this gonna be snow up in the mountain, Dylan? Yeah, we're still climbing. We're still climbing, okay. I really hope the sun comes out though. All right, we'll see you when we get up there. latest update we've gone down the slope two times daisy the easiest one Daisy's the chair left the and then down the slope that daisy leads to and i've eaten ass every time i'm definitely not very good at this but i think we have one more run at least that is pure ice you just threw at me um and we're gonna head back around two um, because I have to catch a flight in the morning to JFK, which I'm not looking forward to getting up that early again, but you know, it is what it is. But you can see, look at all the mountains in the back. They're so cute. Oh my God, my nose is so red. Oh my God, we made it off the mountain and we are pooped i'm pooped and we're hungry and this was our first sip of water all freaking day oh. dylan is starving frozen cliff bar <laughs> is it really you, frozen you mm -hmm. are the sandwiches frozen I mean, be cold. it'll be cold okay because that would suck nobody wants a frozen sandwich
Wait, wait, wait. Here's the best part. Anybody who gets me will get this. Hold on. Use this. Not Cheers. Best part of the day. Oh my god, that is divine. Woo! Listen. DC will do that to a girl. Anyway, we're gonna have some sandwiches. Because we're starving. And we might even stop for food on the way home, too. By the way, buddy, I hate to tell you, but we are too Dylan, yeah. sandwich. Please, well, I'll have it when I'm driving. Okay. I'll have mine in the car. Okay, let's put this whole Yeti in the car and then we'll ha eat inside the car so we're not freezing. But oh my God, I'm warm. I ate shit all day. But hopefully next time it'll be a little better. But we started on the green and then I we went on the blue and then I ate shit on the blue. So we progressed from eating shit on the green to eating shit on the blue. So progress, maybe, I don't know. All right, see you later.